Hello everybody and welcome to the show. So last week we did the review of the Taco Bell Double Steak Grilled Cheese Burrito and this is how it went. No steak. That bite was all cheese and rice. No steak in that last bite right there. This sucks. Give me my money back. So this week our challenge is to show them how you do it. We're going to start off with some flour tortillas for burritos, super soft, some New York strips that's pound and a half. Um, I'm going to do about a half a pound per burrito. Here we have some four cheese Mexican blend, uh, Taco Bell seasoning, some Mexican rice, some Taco Bell salsa con queso, medium heat wise and then some herdez chipotle salsa cremosa which is very good by the way and sour cream and then finally our red tortilla strips yes i did pick them out <laughs> wait you will see and of course more than one napkin because it's a messy steak and cheese burrito you need more napkins thumbs up there you go so take your steak freeze it for about 45 minutes makes it much easier to cut. I bought these thin sliced already. I was looking for ribeye, but they didn't have any, but they had these New York strips on sale, so I figured they will work just fine. You want to cut them against the grain. So I cut them in about three inch strips, two inch strips, and then cut them against the grain in about a half inch or so. Um, whatever your whatever your preference is here, it's steak and it's this is good quality steak. You don't have to use this good of a quality steak. If you don't, you definitely want to make sure you, but you definitely want to cut them against the grain. This will help them melt in your mouth and basically be more tender. All right, so our steak is all cut up nicely. You can see here is what it looks like. You see some marbling there, good sized bites, uh, but we still want to tenderize these and definitely season them. I put some salt that will definitely help tenderize. And then of course I put the Taco Bell seasoning mix that you can buy at pretty much any grocery store and this is going to give it that phenomenal taco bell flavor uh, which i really liked at um at taco bell last week when i tried it out the flavor i liked and then we add a little bit of olive oil and that's it and then we just from there we just mix it with our hands uh, really really good we'll speed it up here just a bit all right steak is chopped up steak is season very well and we are going to cover this and put it in the fridge for at least a half an hour i actually did it for 24 hours and this is the next day here's what it looks like and we're going to put this on our blackstone e-series at 500 degrees that's right nice and hot hot and fast so uh, we're basically i'm just breaking it up there inside the bowl and we are going to let this sit on one side for like a minute or two searing mix it around let it go for another minute or two and that's it like literally four or five minutes and these are going to be done they're very thinly sliced and we're not looking for like a well done here we're just looking for kind of like a medium i mean i'd say medium uh, again we season them put some salt on them Plus, it's a good quality meat, so they're, they're going to be very juicy and very tender. So, they're looking great. Looks awesome. Look at that, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the juices coming out of those things. The smell is ridiculous at this point. That Taco Bell seasoning smells delicious. The steaks are, are looking awesome, and they are ready to come off. I love these little wood spatula thingamajiggies. I don't know what you even call these things. <laughs> uh, but they work great with the Blackstone E-Series. I tried a bunch of different things, and this is kind of like the one that I prefer. It really works well. But they really work well. So, I'll give you a little close-up. Here we go. Look at how moist and juicy and tender looking this beef looks. This steak for our steak burritos, our double steak burritos. Yeah, <laughs> I took a bite. I you gotta you gotta taste your food, man. When you're cooking your food, you gotta taste it, right? Make sure it tastes good. 
so it definitely tastes good these are ready time to get them off here we go so boom we take them off again these little wooden spatula with the square ends they work phenomenal so taking them off the e-series and we're just or i'm just going to put them in a tupperware here uh set them off to the side keep them nice and hot because they're definitely going to help melt our cheese in the inside you want to make sure you keep them nice and hot so here we go get every last bit look how clean this griddle is man this is amazing griddle works phenomenal here we go take it off cut the power and just give it a quick wipe down with some paper towels and we're good to go get ready for the next step which is heating up our tortillas so I just these are already very soft but I still like to heat them up a little bit kind of give them like a pre I don't know pre toasting if you will I'm not sure what you call it but just to get them a little bit more pliable they're, they're already pliable to begin with these particular ones that I bought but I take them off there as you can see and then here we go first layer is our our salsa con queso uh, and here is perfect because I, I like to put this down first because it kind of use it like a paintbrush and you can paint it paint your um, what your the area that you're gonna put all your ingredients so from there we put a little bit of the Mexican rice not too much I put like one scoop one of those little plastic scoops break it up a little bit make it nice and even there's our red uh, tostito strips again spread them out nice and evenly not too much you want to go crazy just less is more sometimes and remember last week I got all rice <laughs> no steak so this week I am putting steak we're gonna do the double steak just like I said that's a pound and a half of steak uh, I think a half a pound is probably a real good double steak size because you would think of like a quarter of a pound would be like a regular steak so half a pound should be fine which is about that so from there we put our shredded cheese right on top of that again don't go too crazy just just enough there nice and even then we're gonna put our chipotle sauce which this stuff is really good uh, if you have not tried it it tastes excellent very good chipotle taste not too too hot but it tastes it's got a little bit of a kick but it tastes really really good and then from there we're gonna add our sour cream couple of dollops and then spread it out just a tad looking good and then we fold it up from the outside in and then the other side give it a little tuck <laughs> take some practice uh, you cannot mess this up I guess you can but you can always correct yourself and that's a good thing these uh, tortillas are very soft they're very forgiving you can mess with them pretty good and they're not gonna rip and that's it you tuck them you get them to where you want them to be you press them down they look it looks good just the right exact size nice and flat looks awesome thumbs up there we go <laughs> all right next up here's the fun part the same cheese Mexican cheese blend right onto the griddle I've got it at about 325 I lowered the heat a little bit I don't want to go too crazy so I thought about this a lot how to do this so I put the cheese down first then I put the flat side of the burrito down when I say the flat side I mean the side that does not have the fold now uh, the folds kind of on the end but the the really roundish part and then this griddle is so awesome with the the non-stick you can you can move that whole thing around however you like and I let it sit there for a good minute or two probably two minutes because uh, you want it toasted so when you see the outside you can see there we're starting to get a little brownish on the outside that's when you know okay probably time to flip and that's exactly what it was and you want to be careful you don't want to mess it all up because that's kind of like your presentation side 
And that's it. Then you toast the other side for another two to three minutes to get everything nice and hot inside. And there's a little close up. And you can see, man, wow, look at the brown crustiness of that cheese. Man, fried cheese on a grilled, I guess, grilled cheese on that, uh, that burrito. That looks <laughs> really good. It looks a lot better than the one that I got last week. I'm going to tell you right now. Looks really good. This thing is ready to go. I am ready. Let's go give it a taste test and check it out. All right, guys. That was a lot of fun. Let's open this sucker up. I've got it in here just kind of chilling out. Well, actually staying warm. And it is hot. Let me get my thingies so I can give you... Oh, a little bit of a close-up. It is hot. <laughs> uh, I can pick it up, actually. I can pick up the whole thing. But I'm going to cut it in half. Just to kind of see how it looks in the middle. Oh, yeah. And hey, look at that, man. That is what I'm talking about with double steak. All right, <laughs> let's taste it out. It looks awesome. So it's toasted on the one side, and this side has the grilled cheese, and you can see there is a ton of steak in there. With the cheese all melted up. I mean, come on, <laughs> that looks delicious. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Wow. That is ridiculous. I can definitely taste the sour cream. I can definitely taste the little chips or strips. The steak melts in your mouth. Mm. Super cheesy. Just enough rice, not too much. I mean, you don't really need that much rice. Come on. Man, this came out awesome. So, Taco Bell, this is how you do it. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.